And we've gotten used to certain symptoms as the hallmarks of a COVID infection, coughing, fever, shortness of breath. But new research shows vaccinated people who get infected actually experience different symptoms than the unvaccinated. ABC 10 News anchor Derek Stahl is going in depth with two doctors to explain why. If you're like me, when someone around you coughs, you can't help but think, is it COVID? According to the worldwide Zoe COVID study, persistent coughing is the number five most common symptom during an infection, one spot below fever. But that's in people who are unvaccinated. After two doses, doctors are finding one of the most common symptoms of a breakthrough infection is sneezing. That is the new symptom in town for 2021. UC San Francisco's Dr. Peter Chinhong says sneezing wasn't even on doctors' radar early in the pandemic. We said, if you have sneezing, don't worry about it. Now we're realizing that people who thought they had allergies actually have breakthrough COVID. To be clear, people who are vaccinated are five times less likely to get infected in the first place and 30 times less likely to get hospital level disease. But in the event they do get infected, the Zoe study found sneezing is now the third most common symptom of a breakthrough. Breakthrough cases were 43% less likely to involve coughing and 73% less likely to involve fever. The vaccine doesn't protect you with a force field outside your body. People can still get the virus in their body. Dr. Christian Ramers of Family Health Centers of San Diego says the virus almost always enters through our nose and sometimes it can infiltrate past the initial layer of antibodies generated by the vaccine. Somebody coughs or sneezes on you or you breathe in that air, you're still going to get that virus inside your body, but you immediately have a good response T cells and B cells that can crank out those neutralizing antibodies very, very quickly. He says immune cells from the vaccine can essentially blockade the virus in your nose and throat. So you have sneezing or a head cold, but typically not much else. It's just getting in the front gate, but it's never really getting inside the house. In unvaccinated people, the virus has free reign to infiltrate deep into the body and head for your lungs. So if you've ever been laying in bed and been shaking, <laughs> shaking chills like that, that's a, a virus that's already inside your body. Your immune system is sort of sending out the red flags. So the, the fact that you don't get to that point if somebody's been vaccinated does mean that the defense has worked. Doctors are noticing the vaccine makes a difference for long COVID too. The Zoe study found vaccination reduced the odds of having prolonged symptoms by 50%. That suggests about five to 15% of breakthrough infections involve symptoms lasting 28 days or more. Our experts think vaccinated people likely have slightly different symptoms, less severe ones when it comes to long COVID, but they say it's too soon to tell. Derek Stahl, ABC 10 News. Doctors think the Delta variant may be another reason people are sneezing more because it replicates about 1,000 times faster in the nose than the original virus.